everyone. Oh. Rise and shine. What a wonderful title for such a beautiful arrangement of art. And on behalf of the Botanical Garden, and Jane and, and Monique and myself, we just we just want to welcome you here to the garden and welcome you to the garden. We just opened. So when we say rise and shine, I think of spring and springing out of bed, and that's exactly what our plants are doing right now. So it's rather timely and rather appropriate uh, for your show to be gracing our garden at this uh, particular time of year with such a wonderful name of rise and shine. And um, Dominique, you're, the work that you do um, has so much energy in it, and I know that that's part of that universal flow that you talk about in in the work of art that you do. And, and, and that just, you can just feel the energy in this room. And um, I actually walked in here earlier today and, and uh, this morning, and it was, it was gonna be a really busy day, and I, I walked in here and I was very quiet and there wasn't anyone around. And uh, I could just feel the energy from, from your paintings. All of the work that's uh, hung here today, uh, or for this, uh, sorry, for this month, um, is also something new for our spring. And, and thanks to Monique, uh, she did a lot of uh, investigation. And uh, this is the first uh, show that's hung on our new painting system. And so, uh, yes, we're really thrilled. And I think you it were works really, really well. well. <laughs> so easy. <laughs> Yes, we didn't have to do too much math, and when, when, when uh, I made math mistakes, which is usual, uh, then we just had to slide the wires, we didn't have to put more holes in the wall, so that was great. <laughs> it worked out really, really well. But we also want to acknowledge that any of the sale of, of any of the pieces, 25% goes to the garden, so that we can purchase more plants uh, in the garden, and to, uh, to actually add to our collection. But also, more importantly, 75% of the sale of any of the uh, paintings on the wall goes to something very near and dear to your heart, mm -hmm. which is the Vienna Academy. And I know that you're going to be talking a little bit more about that. I know. And what a wonderful journey uh, in your life uh, to be able to, to do that. So. so ladies and gentlemen, just welcome. Please uh, enjoy the goodies and uh, the refreshments that are here. And more so, enjoy the art. Thank you. Thank you. One, she's the director of the gardens, Ms. Yes. and also she is the first to purchase one of my artworks, so behind you, rock face on the wall. Mm -hmm. So she's bought that for her own private collection and is starting the, the flow of abundance towards my Vienna Academy through this show. Um, thank you all for coming, and Rise and Shine I did pick because spring was just springing and it was the beginning of the season, so it's not necessarily all sunny paintings. As you can see here, it's all about drizzle, but these were inspired by Newfoundland, and a lot, a lot of this is inspired by my time here in Newfoundland, and how even in the drizzle, you can see so much more, you can feel so much more. It was always in my honeymoon stage of when I first arrived here, that very rainy season that we had two summers ago, but it was magical for me. So um, my artwork does bring a lot of that of that to life. And um, I wanted to talk a bit about the Vienna Academy of Visionary Arts. I think most people here know that I'm, I'm heading there in September, uh, which is one of the reasons I jumped on this opportunity, thanks to Monique, uh, of doing a solo show here at the, at the Botanical Gardens and putting this together and um, sharing my work here. And uh, Monique has been very helpful with all the hanging and everything in terms of opening this opportunity, so please let people know. Vienna, I uh, will be going in September to study and to learn how to draw. As you can see, I'm into photography and I incorporate photography in some of my paintings. Um, I have not yet mastered drawing or even come close to starting. It's been a lifelong frustration and fear. And this loving group of people who are bringing <coughs> drawing and visionary art in order to save Mother Earth or to preserve or honor Mother Earth as well as the sacred and beautiful. Uh, this is the group of people I will be learning with and so it's definitely the right place for me to conquer my fears and also it was very intuitively uh, drawn 
I was very intuitively drawn to it. So I know that with the strength of my calling that I'm going to go. And uh, I've got a few projects on right now, so this show, but also the crowdfunding campaign, which is uh, an online exchange of gifts for support. So anything from $5 all the way to 1111 it's all to help go to Vienna, but in exchange for some wonderful gifts. So I invite you to go to rockethub.com, projects 22252. <laughs> but there are business cards behind you there, um, and it's also on the invitation. So I would gladly share stories of this artwork. If there's anything you have, ask me questions now. Every, every painting has a story, and, uh, but I'll let that for you to do individually. And please, don't let me take all these chips home. <laughs> I'm a health food nut with a chip habit, so uh, I decided to do my little spread uniquely and uh, celebrate everything that we are. All right. Thanks, enjoy.